another YouTube video. It's built on for another YouTube video. Yeah, yes, it's a laptop. Um, this is one of the laptops I have bought. Um, is it a Shiba Satellite L70? I think it is. L30. I'll flip it over. I'll tell you. Um, that's a Windows XP product key. It is. Here it is. It's just. It is a satellite, the Shepard Satellite L30 system unit model number PSL33A. Um, there's all that information. So you got your battery, hard, that's your battery. Battery there. Say so wireless card. Um, RAM, and that's where the hard drive is. Um, it's not very clean. I got to clean it before I sell it. I am planning on selling it. So the I/O for this computer, you have a um, expansion slot. Um, that looks like it's a DSL dial-up modem, USB two, fa uh, fan, uh, VGA. It is not very clean, so I did buy this fairly cheap. There's your Ethernet. There's some corrosion on the um, that screw, but it does work fine. The battery is gone. There's the charging port, USB, Kensington lock. Down the side here is the, the uh, DVD multi. It's a thing to see the RW. Um, CD drives buggered, pretty much. Um, best thing about it is I don't have chargers for these other machines, but this runs off to the Shiva MB100 charger, which I'm going to have to order another one off the internet when I get some money coming through again. Or if I can get money from AdSense because I have managed to get Ad AdSense up and working on here, so yeah, I'm able to um, hopefully get some revenue from my YouTube channel. Well, not much, but a little will help. Um, the inside has, I'd say, that is the 15 or 13 or 15 inch display, has the keyboard, it is an Intel Celeron M inside, so it's a mobile, so I'm assuming it's single core, has a keyboard. So we'll boot it up and we'll have a look at the the, um, the BIOS. With for some reason on the keyboard, the F6 key does not work. It doesn't do any function or anything. So it's Intel Celeron M, about one gigahertz. Um, has the Hitachi hard drive, which is 160 gig. Um, so we get some more information. So it has about. 702 megabytes of RAM. So I haven't I put a Unix based system on it because I don't know any Windows modern Windows that also run on that sort of low hardware. I know you've got to have at least a bigger RAM. Um, it can do um, network boot protocol. So it's got all that built in. So it is I'd say this machine is about over 10 years old now. 10 to 12 years old. Um, yeah, so we'll get out of here. So put a version of Bodai. But I think Bodhi Linux distribution. Um, just because that's the only one I found to be more efficient to run on here. It does take a little while to load. So I haven't got much installed on it. Um, I've only installed like OpenOffice because it's a Unix. But this machine isn't too fancy. In this version of Linux, I'll. Put a link for the website in the description below because it is very good to run on older hardware. Because you only need the minimum is 100 and I think it's like 500 megahertz processor and um, 150, 128 megs of RAM. So it's sort of booting up. It takes a while to boot, but once the system loads, it doesn't run too bad. And there it is. This is a new. This is I think based on Ubuntu. Has a mushki, I think that's what it's called, something like desktop. I'm, I'm not very too common on all the Linux distributions. Please correct me in the comments section below on how to pronounce it, because I don't know much. I just did research, and this is the, I found the best one so far. The work you can use Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, but I can't. I've had, I've had issues running that on this machine. It was very laggy and slow. Um, 
I tried to use L Ubuntu, but that had a graphical issue, so it wasn't you wouldn't get anything on the screen. Um, yeah. So I've almost hit the desktop. It does take ages to boot though. So it does take a little while to boot, but once it's booted it runs quite well. As you can see, see the hard drive activity light and which is this one here. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna log in. Okay, I'm logging into the desktop. Moshka, that's it. So it's loading up the Moshka environment. Uh, there you go, it's loaded up. Um, so it does sort of emulate Windows environment. So if you are moving from like Windows XP and you want to get that PC and you want to run a modern version of OS, I would recommend this because it does run on very low end hardware. But there's probably more options out there. I know there's um, React OS, which I might do a video on down the track because it does emulate Windows and whatnot. So. Have the white. This is your wireless icon. Um, well, it's your sound. I haven't tested the sound on here, but um, I don't know what that is. That's your desktop. That's your desktop. So you have two different desktops. Your time, power, battery. The battery is gone. Um, I can't get the system information. Well, that's why I had to go through. Um, but I have installed uh, OpenOffice 4.1.3, which I believe is the latest version. Now, uh, this thing is, um, you can get the accessories, um, sorry, uh, graphics, e photo, this is all comes with it. it. Has Midori web browser, which I've never really heard of. And here's the system tool, so, oh, I've opened something, yeah, right. um, so this is where you get your apps from, well, you can, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can download it from web browser, this would probably run Firefox and Chrome, but, yeah, I'm just leaving it factory, and this is sort of the, um, so it's like an Android sort of thing too, where it has its own, um, what do you call it, sort of, yeah, yeah, um, app, app Store. But I'll show you a web browsing on it. it does does load not too bad. Um, so it's, this is YouTube. It has issues doing YouTube here, so I'm assuming you need to find a Flash player. So, it has an error curse, so I don't know what's up, so, but this is a really good, it's a good little machine to surf the web, probably if you put a different browser on it, it might do, um, YouTube videos a lot better, but, um, so we'll go to Google. That's okay, so Google. There's Google. Let's um Oh shit, I'll go we'll go to the NRL website. That is quite an intensive website. One of the So this is just a lightweight browser. Um, my experience of using it, it works all right, but I would probably put, if you want better browsing experience, probably put something like Firefox on it. But the issue with, depending on how old your computer is, um, you'll be limited on what version of Firefox you can run. So if you're gonna run anything newer than um, for Firefox version 48, you're gonna need um, an Intel Pentium 4 processor with SS, SSE2 um, instruction set or new, or higher to run any version higher than that. So you can, it doesn't matter if you're running XP, but if you don't have a Pentium 4 
running processor that supports the SS, SSE2 instruction set, you cannot run it. So I believe Windows XP can run up to version 52. That's before the OS limitation kicks in. It does take a little while to load. Um, but uh, it's all a bit, it looks a bit funny, but... It is a bit... So, that's a tour of the system. Nothing too fancy. Um, probably good computer safe for a little kid, like a young kid to do school assignments on, or for a guest machine to surf the web, check your emails. Um, I wouldn't play, I don't know how good it is to play any video on it, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some, uh, check this machine for updates, and then I'm gonna, um, what I'm gonna do now is end this video, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.